So we're here at the sacred well of Satesta. This is very close to the town of Olbia in northeast Sardinia. But what's really interesting about this is that there are three types of very crystalline rock that make up this whole structure. Um, it's a classic Bronze Age holy well. We see similar ones like at Santa Cristina and other areas around the country. And it has granite, schist and trachyte, three different types of very crystalline rock within the foundations, within the whole construction here. And it has 17 steps leading down and you can see here it's got a channel where the water goes and all along here the water moves through this whole area. So this is still a very important site. It's obviously now a tourist site, but you can see the circular courtyard and the way it's constructed with the corbel roof going upwards, which is what we find in many of the other wells across Sardinia. So as we walk into the well, you can just see the way the water would be, go underneath these stones. And then you have this particular stone, which has a channel cut out of it. And then we have 17 steps going all the way down. So you can see that only about three steps actually are shown here. So another 13 or 14 steps go into the water down there. Then we have what looks like steps going across the ceiling going down as well and it's sort of caving in and this still gives off perfectly clean spring water that gushes up through the earth in this valley. So if we go down a little bit further and you can just see all the steps leading down under the water. So this is a very powerful spring creating very beautiful spring water. I'm just fascinated by these wells. They really are an interesting design. They're used for the whole community. This one's got a whole key shape when you look at it from the air. Then with these sort of false steps on the ceiling, much like we find at Santa Cristina. And what I find really interesting about these wells is the fact that they're using three types of rock, granite, schist, and trachyte. Now, I'm gonna look into these a bit more to see if they have any particular purpose. Are they used because they energize the water with the movement of the water going through the ground here? Or is there another purpose? Were they harnessing earth energies? Now, was this a sacred site before the Nuragic civilization? Officially, it's Nuragic, even going into the Bronze Age, like a late Nuragic. But as we'll see with some of the other wells, some of them are extremely old, going back to the Neolithic times, to the time of the Aziri culture, and also even before that, because obviously water was the most important thing to these people. So we have the main courtyard, which is like the entrance to the well. Then we have a straight area that goes into the actual well itself, which goes deep into the ground. Then behind it, over there, is another small circular courtyard. So we're at the back of the Holy Well here at Satesta, and you can see almost it sort of resembles the shape of the giant's tombs or the giant's graves, which we find all over Sardinia, many actually in this area. And the back end of this actually reminds me very much of Orku, which is one of the southern giant's graves. But the way this sits in the valley, obviously, is where to collect water from the surrounding mountains and the beautiful countryside around it, going out into the sea in that direction. Absolutely amazing sight. Well worth a visit if you're in Olbia.
So you can just see the moon in the background there, perfectly kind of placed with this amazing holy well. Absolutely beautiful place. I really feel that there's something special about these holy wells. And they were revered and they were used as fertility sites, nourishing the land with the charged up water, as well as nourishing the people. I'm sure there were holy rites that took place here, as well as obviously the more practical secular purposes of actually having pure, clean, energized water. So this site was used from the Neuragic Age all the way up to Roman times, and I think it was about the 6th to the 7th century BC. A wooden statuette was found here, which was placed here as an offering. There have been other discoveries found here and in this general area. There's another holy well further east, right on the coast, almost like on a peninsula going out into the sea, into the Mediterranean. And so this really was an important site amongst all the other sites here on Sardinia. Now, these holy wells are really, really important. And the fact that they're still revered today, they still produce clean water, really meant that these sites were created with that in mind for future generations to enjoy, to have ceremony, to give offerings, and to have clean, pure drinking water.